Hey folks, it's time for Frugal Prepper garden update. So the tomatoes down on this end of the tomato bed got attacked by two grubs. Um, it happens every year. I lose some plants. I usually lose five or six plants to two grubs. And they're always on the ones planted on this end of the bed. Uh, no matter which row I'm in. I found the best way to deal with it is just to severely prune them back so they don't have as much foliage to support with the damaged roots. This one I pruned way back. I mean, it was it was pruned back like this um, a few days ago, and you can see how it's coming back. I had to cut off the main stem there and just let the sucker grow out. This one I pruned back about a week ago, and it's coming back. And the rest of these will come back. This one really had a lot of damage. I had to prune it down to this very bottom sucker and let that grow out and become a main plant. This is of course gonna affect the production on these plants because they're not gonna be as far along as the other ones, but I will still get something out of them. And I've also found that when you have a plant get attacked by tube grubs, you're better off to leave it in the ground and let it <laughs> get attacked to keep pruning it. Because if not, if you pull it out, the tube grubs will move to another plant. <laughs> um, and so, we get down to that point forward and we see everything's looking nice and healthy. Everything's fine. I have 32 plants, so I'm still gonna have plenty of tomatoes. I do have to get some more tomato steaks and start tying these in at angles just to get them strong enough. Um, but I gotta get back to tractor supply to do that and I haven't yet, so. Uh, but I've started to tie some stuff off and here and there and they're looking like happy, healthy celebrity tomatoes for the most part um, the eggplants um, they're they're holding their own they continuously do get attacked by flea beetles you see them I don't know if you can see them on camera there's a couple of them like jumping around there uh, but I just misted them down and gave them another sprinkling of diatomaceous earth and uh, that's probably a little much on that leaf there but uh, we'll, we'll let that work again and they'll go away for another week and then they'll be back again, <laughs> you know, just how it is. Uh, but they are growing and they're flowering. So we should have some eggplants. I really hate using something this broad spectrum when there are pollinators around. Um, hopefully they just fly up to the flowers and don't get in it. <laughs> um, but uh, the diatomaceous earth, the only thing I found that works for flea beetles. So, um, I got my peppers, they're all growing here. They're looking good and healthy. Um, I got my baby corn here. Some of these are weeds. I'm kind of letting the corn get a little bit bigger so I can determine exactly what's a weed and grass and what's corn. Um, this is another Chinese, or another baby corn. It came up a little bit, but it didn't come up great. Um, but I'm just gonna go with it and let it grow at this point and see what we get. Um, not a lot I can do about that. Um, I planted them and now we just gotta let them grow and see what happens. Um, just didn't have a great germination rate on those guys, but it happens. <laughs> uh, the beans where I filled in, uh, the missing beans with the Kentucky Wonders down here, those have all germinated and they're up and growing now. These beans are all up and growing. By this time next week, I'll expect most of these to be about this far up the string. Um, once they get to this like two to three week stage, they really start to pop and grow. Cucumbers, they're growing. I don't know, I think some of these might be a bush variety. Then they might not be the vining type, I don't know. I'm just gonna let them grow and see what happens. These are the zucchinis and more beans down here. Those are all gonna be growing good. And the onions are looking happy and healthy. No complaints with the onions. So, that's how the garden's doing. Just is what it is. Uh, the baby corn germinated really well, but the other corns, because I put the early girl down, that didn't work. Then I put down an heirloom of baby corn. Uh, it's, it's not like a Chinese baby corn, it's just a short corn. That germinated better, but it didn't germinate great. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's all about, you know, during these years when it's not an SHTF event, it's about trying some different varieties of plants and seeing which ones do better. 
stick them with an heirloom that you can save the seeds from if you can but in the case of celebrity tomatoes keep plenty of celebrity seeds on hand because those are typically really good tomatoes and they grow well heirloom tomatoes just don't seem to grow as well for me but uh, that's what's going on in the garden just thought i would share with y'all i'll talk to y'all later it's time your free will prepper